So the long awaited RC controller update. Um, I think what I'm on about mainly is the app version as a long last change, and that's the Android app. Because I noticed on if you're using the other controller, if you're using your phone, especially your Android phone, there have been a few problems. But anyway, at long last, they've updated it. So what we could do first, I'll just go through the quick procedure of it. So obviously first turn on the RC screen. Don't need to turn on the drone. So forget about the drone for the moment. We can check that out later on. As always, you just go through the, the procedure of what the screen tells you to do. You don't have to do anything else at the moment. So when, once it's kicking in, one of the first things you've got to do, guys, is you go into your settings, which will be on this side. I'm just waiting for it to load up, so it should be ready now. And we just turn on the Wi-Fi. So the Wi-Fi is on. Yeah, it's on now. It's good. So you come out of that. We now go into the drone itself. So we go into connections, camera view, aircraft not connected. I don't think we need to do that for the moment. So we just go into the three dots at the top. We go over to about, uh, we check for updates. So I need an up update. Just before I do that, I'm just going to show you the app. So I've got the 1.69 app, which has been on app for a couple of months now. That will change. But anyway, go back into the updates. I just wanted to show it to you. <laughs> right, so we do the update. I'll do the download. It's, there it is. It's optimizing the flight record and a few bugs. So we do that. What I will do, I will go, uh, we'll turn on the drone later on, and then once it's all been downloaded, I will then go out for a test flight, and I'm gonna put it all in one video, so you see everything, making sure it's all hunky-dory. Okay, so what it says there, power on aircraft. So all lights are green, they're going back to red. So the controller's just going through the process. Uh, it's installing the system update. Obviously when you're doing this guys, you've got to make sure that your RC controller is up, uh, powered up. And obviously your drone battery is powered up as well. So you get no problems. Of, it shuts down on you, so always make sure that it's powered up before you do these updates. Or just check that you've got enough power there, I should say. So the drone's connected now, because you've got, all got the green lights on. And guys, just let it go for its process. Sometimes it seems like it's going on for ages, just let it carry on. Don't touch nothing until it says it's all ready. So it's just um, updating its data. There it goes, nice and quick. Now, I was watching Nobby's uh, drone channel uh, and he said we have to go through this process now. Now I'm quite happy with all this. Um, so all the buttons are blue. I'm happy with that. Uh, and then you've got the product improvement. Um, do I want to share it? Not at the moment, not really. I think there's enough of us doing it out there anyway. So we should be back into the drone, which is good. So what I'm going to do first, I'm just going to go through the updates first uh, and then we go through some of the other settings because sometimes it does tend to do this. So now we've got the new update which is the 01.01.0450 and we should have the new update for the app which has changed now to 1.69. 
7.4. So that's good as well. So that's been all updated. Um, what I will do in a moment, I will check the battery as well. It shouldn't, the battery shouldn't need updating, but I will go through that quickly. So that's good. It's on its break. Um, Cause sometimes it might go on to bypass. So you want to put it back there. Altitude, all those things looking good. Um, control, no mine's Imperial, no, that had not changed. The follower mode's on as good. Cause sometimes it does go into FPV mode. So that's good as well. Camera, um, that's all looking good. Now I don't know what, it should be 16.9. So I'll just put it on there. That's probably <laughs> said a lot to me that has. Okay, so that, that's good. So that's sorted that out. I think that's my own error that is. Um, right, so what I'm gonna do now, I'm gonna turn off the controller. I'm gonna turn off the drone. I'm gonna put on another battery, just to be on the safe side. I don't think you needed to update the batteries, but, cause it's only, it's only the controller, not the drone so much. So I just have changed the battery over. I've got another full battery there. We'll just click that in. We will turn on the drone. Turn on the controller. We don't need to check the internet, obviously. We're just gonna see if these two uh, are connected, especially the battery. Now, sometimes it does say, if you want the battery updated, it'll come up on the screen. Sometimes it don't. So we'll just see what happens. I'm sure you don't need to update the batteries, but I always feel sure that you know, it's always worth checking. Before you go out, uh, just saves a little bit of time. So that's all fine. I'll just go into the about. I'll do a check update. New firmware available. Okay. Interesting. I'll see what that's about. Okay. That's interesting. Uh, aircraft firmware update. Okay. So sometimes, guys, it's always worth checking your drone just before you go out. Now I didn't, I haven't seen this out on the big YouTube. So yeah, obviously, um, now usually when it's like that, to me it means um, the battery, but it doesn't say anything about a battery. It's definitely an aircraft firmware update. And I think what it is, is obviously you got the Mini 2, uh, the Mavic Mini, possible, because obviously it's to do also with, with the app maybe. Uh, with the Mavic Air 2 and the Mavic Air 2S and obviously with the new what I call the uh, Afata <laughs> I, I just don't get understand that name Afata to me it sounds a bit like my daughter action accent of Afata <laughs> anyway and I'm bringing a video out on the new DJI FPV drone. I have flown it. I've never flown an FPV drone in my life. I've flown it, I've flown it twice. I am always amazed, but you're gonna to have to watch the video guys to see what my thoughts was about that drone. And will I get one? So firmware installed. Interesting. Okay, come out of that. Connect to aircraft. Aircraft firmware update successful. That's telling me that. Um, and we should be able to just go straight into the drone, really. Aircraft not connected because what have I done? The aircraft has turned itself off. So I'm just going to turn on the aircraft. Okay, so the aircraft's connected. What I will do now, I will just go back into the settings and just see if anything's changed on here. Um, let's just do a quick look. Still on break. Uh, so, okay, calibrates. I don't have to worry about that. Okay, well, I've got a, 
I've got a sticky finger because it's pretty hot here in Spain at the moment again. Still, follow me mode's all right. Camera is good, auto. Um, and we just go in and just make sure nothing else has changed. Everything else is looking good. So I'm going to check for updates. Everything's up to date, which is good. Um, I'll just do the, the fly safe database one here because it was updated at the beginning of the year. Now, probably I haven't got the internet on for that. So what I might do, I'll just do it again. Firmware, so it's all up to date, which is good. So what I'm going to do now, guys, I'm going to come out of that. I'm going to go and have a quick test flight. And then I'll put this video up later today. It's Sunday. Can't remember the date, but it's definitely Sunday, the September. <laughs> it's bad, isn't it? Because I'm an old bloke. I'll catch you in a mo. So I've come out now to do the test flight. Now, another thing I didn't do, guys, is when I did the upload, I did two of the batteries, but one of the batteries I had to charge up. It's been fully charged up. I've put it in the drone. So what I'm going to do now, I'm going to show you on the screen uh, if we need it updating. It shouldn't need updating. And we're just going to about and we just see check for updates press that network connection required so okay anyway it doesn't need updating that's the main thing so that i like i said before i don't think that because it was the rc controller that needed update even though it was a firmware update as well but i think that was corresponding with the controllers that you can fly with so should we get on with the test flight now? It is windy. If anything, it's pretty windy. But I wanted to get this video up and going just to prove you everything's fine. We've gone through the settings on the camera and the drone itself. They're all fine. They don't need, nothing's been altered. So we get a drone up now. Because it's windy, I'm not going to do a hand launch. It's best to be safe. And I'll just get it set up. Okay. So auto take off. Okay, it's fighting with the wind a bit. Let's get it up a little bit more. What I'm going to do, I'm going to put it, I'm going to do the master shots. Now that'll, that'll try out a couple of things, a circle um, and those other things as well. So we just go on to the master shots. Okay. Don't need that on the screen. Let's get it pointed down on me. There I am. So I'm just going to set myself up, draw a box around it. Okay. Estimate flight time two minutes. So it's telling me what how long it's going to take. So it's also telling you what it's doing. So at the moment it's doing the drone -y. It's also recording this as well, which is good. So I can test out the video footage as well. And now it's going into the circle from afar. So I think this is probably a, a good way of testing the drone out as well, because you're trying out quite a, quite a few things with it. I don't want to go into doing hyperlapses and things like that. Because I rarely use those, to be honest, guys. I suppose if you could be doing a lot of hyperlapses, yeah, maybe test that out. But if you're just normally flying your drone, uh, you don't need to do that. Pitch up, fly forward, come back towards me. What you've got to remember, guys, when you're trying out the, the master shots, that it hasn't got its avoidance on. So if there's any buildings or pylons about, you might have a bit of an accident. But got a nice clear area. It's doing a circle now. Now it's doing uh, a medium circle. Still very hot here in Spain. We're sort of middle of September now. Um, it's still being pretty hot. It gets cooler in the mornings a little bit now and at night. But during the daytime, we're still touching the 30s. Um, to me, it's still very sticky but anyway 
We've got the camera down, fly forward. We've got strong wind warning, aircraft. Because we're at a height of um, 150 feet. Just doing a, a camera down. we got some, you probably can see it on the camera. We've got some strong winds there. So any jerkiness, I think that's more to do with the wind. <laughs> but you know, this this drone copes with it ever so well. I'm amazed at this drone. I'll be honest guys, at the moment, without all the drones I've got, the Mini 3 Pro is my best. I've just flown the FP, the DJI Avata, the new FPV drone. I'm amazed with it. Okay, so it's done all it's, what it's supposed to do. What I'm going to do now, I'm going to bring it in. Um, update this morning, I noticed it. I think the update was yesterday. What I will say is, guys, my friend Steve, I told him about it. He tried to do an update, and he said the server was down. That, I'm on about the DJI server, so obviously a lot of people have been trying to do the updates on this, uh, and obviously it couldn't do it. So don't panic. Do it tonight or do it tomorrow. It's no massive. Growth. I mean, I think the main thing with this update, more than anything, was to do with the app itself. So the app is the same as your Android for your controller. Yeah. The main thing, it's all well. Uh, I'll go out again flying when the wind's not so windy. Anyway, as also always, guys, if you enjoyed the video, give it a thumbs up. If you didn't enjoy the video, give it a thumbs down. And yeah, I'll catch you in another drone video.